Tries, plenty of tries indeed, but they haven't found a way to win. Is today that day, or can Ulster bounce back? Uh, brings Ulster through nine phases. Still there, Eric O'Sullivan, the one to carry. That one looked like it might have been knocked forward. Cooney ducks and dives, and he's over. Well, what about that for a start? Cooney in quickly, ball presented for him, and then Burns. And then Marshall, Gapo was up in front of him, and Marshall will romp home. Luke Marshall in, try number two for Ulster. He's done reasonably well in the opening quarter for the Kings, but that's a poor kick from Ungera. And Marshall picks and goes, and he's got pace. Banda does also. Marshall knew he wasn't going to get there. Goes to ground in to secure the ball is Matty Ray. And then it's Ludic and Ludic on his shoulder. And eventually it finds its way to the captain, Rob Herring, in under the sticks. And the Kings turn and look at each other. And Ulster won't care. They have try number three after 16 minutes, and it was oh so easy. Commit some Kings defenders. Tight space to work in, but they've managed to release it to Matty Ray. And then the ball is offloaded, and Cooney, and then Reedy. And Reedy is eventually dragged to ground, but it's so much better from Ulster. Burns, crossfield kick. There's two of them out there. They need to sort it out, and they do as fat as gathers and strolls over and Ulster have their fourth try of the afternoon change the front back. row for the Kings the clerk is gone and in in his place comes Schultz good competition for the ball and Ludic has done a terrific job for Ulster Kotsia bounces off too turns around open country in front of him oh wonderful hands Cooney on his shoulder steps back inside can he get there? Yes, he can. Cooney under the sticks. Terrific try, Ulster. Wonderful skill from Marcel Cotzea, which you wouldn't expect. Brooks breaks the tackle, throws the dummy, and puts Cooney in the clear. You thought he would have had the legs to, to make it, but he decided to step inside. Well, here it is. Look at this from Cotzea. He just bounced off. Fortune was the one to make the first tackle, and then lovely hands, and Alderman bought the dummy, and then Cooney, well... You again have to question the defensive effort of the Kings. Penalty advantage there as Alderman, scrum half, eventually gets his hands on the ball. Up quickly come Ulster, but it won't be good enough because in goes Kruger. The Kings have a try, eventually. And it's Kruger who gets in. in the there hasn't been any finesse asked of or required from this position. And the toy can't control it, but it's gone backwards. Now where is it? I think this could be could be a try. Try awarded. And it'll go to JT Jackson and away and it doesn't go to hand and Ulster have it. And that is a scrappy end. To a scrappy second half in Port Elizabeth with a comfortable and comprehensive win. The final score, Southern Kings 17, Ulster 42.